Hey guys, this is a video on how to use the Microsoft Embedded Software Order Center. We call it ESOC. Um, and once you sign a CLA and it's approved, the very next thing you want is the media and the key. Well, this video I'm going to go over how to get access to the media that you can download it. Um, of course, at Arrow we'll ship you a kit if you would like, but if you also want access to all the embedded products and you want to be able to download them anytime you like, you get that through ESOC. And the way you do that is after you have your CLA number, um, in the agreement signed and approved and you got your CLA number, the next step is to send an email to muhelp at microsoft.com. So that's, the, that's where you're going to do that. And what you're going to do is you're going to provide your first and last name, your CLA number, um, OEM ID if you have it. If not, don't worry about that, but CLA number will get you, get you in there. And then they'll email you back with two emails. The first one will have a PIN number, and the second one is uh, after you do the PIN process, then they'll give, give you a link. Um, an activation link and your account is ready to go it's good to go at that point so the next step is using the website and it can be pretty painful uh, because it's very p particular in how it works so I'm gonna this video is gonna get you going really quickly with that so I put the steps over here on the right um, again send an email off to move help get you going make sure that the email you use um, is uh, tied to a, a Microsoft Live account because that's how you're going to log into Moo is with that Live account. Um, and so make sure you have all of that working uh, as well. So first thing you want to do is you want to clear out your cache. Uh, so we're on step number four, which is uh, run this temp command to clear out the cache. I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to do run. Um, I've already got the command typed in, percent sign, temp percent sign. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll probably have a lot more in there than I do because I recently cleared mine out. But you're basically going to highlight these files and hit delete. And it, some things are still open, so only you delete everything. So you're going to do this and hit skip. Um, and then it'll delete everything it can. Stuff that's still open um, will, will still be there. Then you're going to close that. Then you're going to open um, an in-private browsing session with the Internet Explorer 11. So this really only works with the older Internet Explorer 11. It will not work with Chrome and it has troubles with the new um, Microsoft browser. So once you have this open, we're, this is something I do every time I, before I visit this website. And the reason is it just makes sure that the cache is cleared out and that everything is ready and will hopefully make the site work every single time. So the, I'm going to scoot this over so we can see the steps as well. What you want to do is there's no menu bar up here, so you've got to hit the Alt key, and then you'll get this menu. So I can now click Tools, and I can click Compatibility View Settings. Now there's two websites we want to add. The first one is the rsmext.one.microsoft.com site, and the second one is the actual microsoftoem.com website, which is where the ESOC is at. And I've listed those over there in the steps, as you can see. And then you're going to hit close. Um, I'm going to scoot this over so we can see the, the numbers. So we've done that. Now we're going to visit the RSM website. And this is kind of a website that just tests your browser. It's RSM ext.1.microsoft.com This runs all of these different tests to make sure that the browser is configured properly and that everything is going to work. Um, if it's your first time to run it, you may get some pop-ups that say, you know, do you want to do this? You know, do you want to enable this? And you're going to obviously say yes to all of those. For me, mine's already set up. It went through and said yes to all nine of those steps, and then it took me back to this other website to log in. Now this is where some people get confused because this is not the website you log in. This was like a test website. So you're not going to log in there. But everything worked great, so now I'm going to go to the ESOC website, which is at www.microsoftoem.com. Now I log in with my live ID that I had associated with my CLA number.
and it takes me right in to the ESOC website, which um, up at the top says Digital Operations Center, but that this is where we're at. It's a, for indirect OEMs that have just signed a CLA, and you log in here, it's a very simple menu, very stripped down. There's only a couple things. What you're going to do is you're going to go under Orders, and there it is, the Embedded OEM Software Order Center. Click that link. It's going to want you to log in again. I, I same same account. I pick it. I'm kind of already logged in, so it's just going to take me through that login. I don't have to type my password again. It should take me right into the website. And here we are. Now the important thing to know about this website is there's some really helpful documents. Um, in fact, the access guide, which is this one, this this document here, that also has these steps that we went through is actually located um, right here as well, right on the main page. Also, there's an important tool here, this Microsoft Media tool. Some of these OPKs, like Server 2016, SQL 2017, they are DVD-9. They're very large. And um, they need to use this tool to convert them. So if you don't have a DVD-9 burner, you can convert those uh, with this media tool. And I have other videos on my channel channel on how to convert a DVD-9, uh, but just want you to know that the tool is actually right there, as well as some other helpful guides. Now, um, the searching for the kit. So I'm going to take you through that. Also note that some of the latest kits released in the last two weeks are listed right here. So you can see there's a brand new one for CBB, Windows 10, IoT in there. But let's do it. So the first thing you do is you click on um, Search Kits. And you'll get this screen. And you can search by the kit itself, but most people don't have the kit numbers. So generally you're going to search on the end item number, which is the part number that Arrow has quoted you. Uh, so I'm going to type that number in here. We'll throw that one in. You don't include the pack sizes. So on our part numbers, we put a dash 1P or a dash 10P for pack sizes. You don't do that. Uh, just the actual Microsoft number. And then you've got some, some filters here. I only want to see the full OPK. If you click here, you get some other search things. Like I only want English. Um, and you can also, if you hold your control, you can do multiple selections. So I'll do English and multi-language. And then I'm going to hit search. And there's the kit. Um, I'm going to widen this out so we can see it a little bit because we're kind of done with the, the steps over there. The next thing you do is you select it and you click Add. And that'll open up some more steps down here. Uh, we'll need to select Country. Uh, United States was recent for me, um, so it's already in there. And then I'm going to select my state. And then you have to say, I hereby certify that I'm at that location is accurate and then proceed to download. And this is where sometimes things get tricky because it goes over to another site and, and you can see by the URL it's over on the RSM site and that's why it's important to do those tests with the RSM because there are things in here that will not work if it can't get through those non-RSM tests. So for me, I'm happy because one of the most problematic issues is this checkbox. You'll need to check this box, but sometimes the box is missing. It's not there. And if it is, that means you need to go back through and clear your cache and configure your browser and run that RSM test to make sure that all those steps work. Um, and for me, they all worked, and so the box is here. That's fantastic. Then you need to tell it where you're going to want to save it. I'm going to save it over here in my OPK. And then we do take electronic delivery and accept the agreement. And now um, it's saying, do you want to open this application? And absolutely I do. And it's going to open up this nice, pretty big file transfer manager. It's a trans file transfer manager tool that works really well because if you lose internet connection in the middle, it, you can actually you know, restore itself and keep right on downloading. And you can see here, there is a PDF that it downloaded, and then here are a couple of large image files, 2 gig, 3 gig. That's probably your 32-bit uh, ISO image and your 64-bit ISO image. One thing to note, Microsoft loves to save these in IMG files. You can simply rename those to .iso, an image file and ISO file, pretty much the same. So if you have a burner tool that only that won't work with image files, 
rename it to .iso. Or if you're trying to load it as a virtual machine, you're creating virtual machines and you, and you point it to this image file and it doesn't see it, go rename it to .iso and the, you know, the Hyper-V manager will see it then and it will work. So that's another question I get a lot is I was expecting ISO files and I got image files. There is a tool, free tool called Image Burn you can search on and it'll burn image files too. ISO Recorder seems to work as well. So that's downloading. Everything worked great. I'm, I already have this OBK so I'm going to close. Um, and from there um, I typically clear my cart and uh, close out of it. So again, this, this um, you can search on any tools. If you need part numbers to search on, let me know. Like if you want to get Server 2016 or SQL 2017 or any of the Windows 10 products, any of the older products, let us know. That's how you use the ESOC. Any questions, you can reach me at Arrow at msembedded at arrow.com. Thank you.